is you know DTP routines. So why we use DTP routines? Uh, if you have a requirement to load only the latest last month information, last week information, last two months information for the last fiscal period, like any word it will be. But if you want to implement such kind of logics, or if you want to implement some DTP filter uh, based upon some of the generic table entries. For example, user maintains some materials in one generic table and he wants to exclude or include those materials in the DTP filter. Then in those scenarios also, you it is uh, you know uh, required to implement your DTP filter. Okay, so yeah, customization. If which cannot be done directly with hard coding, then you need to go for customization. Then in those scenarios, we will write the DTP filter. So where we write DTP filter? So go to DTP in the change mode and go to the filter section. In the filter section, you can see all the fields which are available. So what kind of fields we can see? So we, what is DTP? DTP loads data from source to target, right? In the DTP filter, what field, what uh, from where we see the fields? The fields what we see in the DTP filter are from the source side, not from the target side. Okay. So if I go to show technical names, you see all the whatever fields I am seeing here are on the source side. So the data format, whatever we have here, is also from the source side. Okay. So that is very important to remember here. So for example, if I want to write a routine for the G date, I want to bring data for the last one month only. So I want to pass an interval range here to bring data for the last one month only. So how I can write the routine here? So click on this button, you know, here we have some buttons, right? Multiple selection and create variable and create a routine. Variable means any big square kind of variable you can provide here or you can write routine by clicking here, create routine. So it will ask for, you know, provide some name. So you can write anything here. Just I am giving G date underscore routine. Select enter. So then after pressing enter, you see, you can find this kind of selection. So what, what exactly we are seeing here, SAP is providing some syntax, you know, to derive the uh, selection. Just like our info package routine, how we are writing in the same kind of way, we need to write some routine here also. So what exactly the given code given by SAP here, LID type site apex, so read table system, it is trying to read the table LT range. What is LT range? LT range is the table contains the other, you know, filter values, if it is available, okay, with the field name. So because we are writing this uh, filter, you know, to which column we are writing to writing this filter, I am writing this filter to the column name G date. So here you need to mention G date. Okay, so it will check um, if there is a filter for G date and it will store the corresponding site apex. Okay, so what is site apex for uh, here? If you are trying to give filter on material and company code and G date, then you have three entries in the ILT, LT range. If you are trying to give only G date to in the DTP filter, then site apex this LT range contains only single record. So when it is single record, when we do the restatement, the record will be available on the first position. If we have three fields in the LT range, then G rate may be in one, two, or three position. So this L underscore, I, this site apex will provide the position of the entry in this table. Okay. So why we need position of the entry in this table? Because later we are writing some modified statement. So we are going to update this LT range entry and modifying the LIDX, okay? So how, how I'm going to modify this LT range? Here simply I'm going to provide L underscore T underscore range. So what fields are there in this LT range one? So if you see this particular read statement written by SAP, it doesn't have any work area, okay? So why it doesn't have any work area? Because LT range is of type structure. Already it is a type structure, that's why, you know, SAP not given any, uh, again, one more work area. So read statement is written on the work area directly. Okay, this is a okay, different. Generally, in my ABAP classes, I never teach this kind of read statement because we don't write this kind of read statement in general. Okay, but you must know what, how it works. Hmm? Uh, so now I am going to give already field name. So what was the field name? LT field name is equal to my field name is G date. Okay. And then L underscore T underscore range. 
what was the other one info object if you want to provide info object you can provide or else it's okay and then provide the sign sign information is because i want to include some value i am giving here similarly lt range option option is equal to since i am going to provide the range information here i am going bt here after option what is pending here we need to provide low value and high value low value is equal to for example low value i want to provide as of now i am hard coding some data here 2020 um, 2022 01 zero five zero one let's say low value as uh, you know may first and high value as uh, end of the year okay uh, i'm not it's not actually last two months uh, i'm some giving some hard coded anyway whatever i'm doing i am writing the routine whatever value i am giving in my routine it must come to the screen if it is coming then my routine is working so later you can ha you can derive your custom logic here okay so I'm updating this LT range structure with my required values here and then I'm keeping the remaining statement as it is. If I L tab X, uh, you know, what exactly this code means? If L underscore IDX not equal to zero, it means if this particular read statement got failed, it not found G date field, then I am, what I'm doing, if it is not equal to zero, then uh, and it means it found the entry in the LT range. That's it, right? Because uh, LIX contains the site apex. Uh, so if uh, site apex is one, two, three, four, whatever it may be, it means it found the entry in the internal table. If not found, then what happens? The site, this uh, size of pass is zero and site apex also zero. If it is zero, then it comes to else part. And in the else part, I am appending this record into the LT range table. Okay, simple. That's it. Check here save button click on ok button and then activate here and it's a full request right so it's okay and then go to execute click on execute button so if you click on execute button is header so where is the selections you see the selections came on g date i got a selection after you know 5th to 31st so selection was executed successfully okay in this way you can write the you know um, abap filters okay dtp was executed successfully one second so i worked with the g sale 2 details this is a field based you know, this is a field-based ADS flow. For example, if you are working with the info object-based ADS flow, here when we are writing, uh, you know, uh, in when we are writing this code, there is an option. What is the field name? What is the technical name of the info object also? So technical name of the info object also, you can provide as an input here. <coughs> when you see here, uh, here I am giving field name. Field name is exactly equal to the technical name, what exactly it is showing when you enable the technical names here okay remember that point and uh, when coming to this uh, field name apart from field name we have one more option also here l underscore t underscore range iobgnm i didn't field iobgnm because my adso is a field based adso if you are working writing for a adso or a cube with info objects then you can update the info object name also but when writing the info object name, if it is a standard info object which is prefixed with zero, you must give the info object technical name along with zero. If it is a custom object, you need to give slash bic slash that uh, info object name. Okay, so that is you can derive here. You can write select statement. You can write you know any other complex logic also here to derive your low and high. As of now, I provide low and high hard coded value but you can derive this low and high using some logic from current date you know current month or something like that okay but the way how to write dtp is this this only it's a very simple topic and easy to understand also remember here the field name is important the field name must be whichever field you are writing this particular dtp routine you must provide the field name in the proper way if you don't you know for example let's say one negative scenario also we always need to see right for example here 
I provided this G date one here. Okay, fourteen. G date one four I given here. Save and save. Activate. So this is a wrong case. If I given the read, uh, you know what in the read statement. If I given something wrong, then what happens? Uh, then also it is uh, okay. Then also it is working. So why it is working in this case scenario? So why because um, okay how to debug let's debug this and learn how exactly it is working okay i forgot to do debugging so when this particular entry not found also what happened here we are writing appending if it is found we are doing modifying okay that's why it is working second time also hmm? so now what we do is uh, let's try to creep one breakpoint here and see how exactly it is working and then we can close the session save click on okay activate it so when you execute the DTP, the first thing is filter derivation. After the data extraction will be started. So our code started at breakpoint. Now at this point of time, LT range contains any records. You see, LT range doesn't contains any data at this point of time. Okay. If it doesn't contain any data, then what happens? It is updating the LT range. And then since it doesn't contain any data in LT range, what happened? This read got failed. If read is failed, then site abex is zero and l underscore idx is zero. So since it is not equal to zero, it is if it is zero, it comes to else part and then it updates the append table. You see now append LT range contains one entry which was created by us.